Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nitej and in this short video, I will show you how to programmatically update the material properties in Unity. I will be using the C-sharp language to do this and without wasting any more time, let's see how it is done. So this is a new project which I have created in Unity and I have already added the high definition render pipeline package to this project. First, I'm just going to create a cube over here, which I will be using to set the material to. Now let's create a new material. I'm going to name this material as my material. And now the default shader which has been set for this material is the um, HDRP lit shader. So I'm just going to set the color to, let's set it to red and let's set the metallic property value to 0.8 and let's keep the smoothness as 0.5. And now to set this material to this cube, I'm just going to drag it and that's it. Now to change the properties of the material which has been applied to this cube, I'm going to create a new c -sharp script and let's just call this script as cube component. Now I will drag and drop this cube component script over this cube to attach it with this cube and then I'm just going to double click on it so that it will open up in the um, Visual Studio environment. Now in the code, first I'm going to create a private material field and let's just call it my material. Now to programmatically update the properties of the material, like for example, if we let's say want to change this base map color to some other color, first we will need to fetch the reference of the material which has been applied to this cube. And we are going to get this reference in this my material field. So let's just do that. So my material equals to transform.get component or we can directly call get component and then we are going to first get the renderer component when we have got the renderer component then we are going to access the material property of the renderer to get the reference of the material which has been applied to the cube now to change the base color all we need to do is to simply call my material dot set color and now we need to provide the name of the property this is the property which is being used by the shader code to get the color value which has been set for the color property now there are some ways to find out the name of the property whose value we want to change one of the ways is to first click on the material and then click on this settings icon now we can use these two options select shader and edit shader when we will click on select shader then the lit shader which this material is currently using will be selected and we will be able to see the names of the maps or the names of the properties for the textures which can be applied for this material but we are not going to apply any kind of texture we just need to change the base color and for that i'm just going to open up this lit shader in visual studio now over here you can see the names of different properties so to change the base color all we need to do is to simply copy this underscore base color and use it as a name over here and then we can provide the value of the color which we want to be set as base color for this material and for that i'm just going to use a predefined color so let's just use um you know color dot green now let's run the scene and find out if this updated color has been applied to the material or not after running the scene you can see that the cube is now green instead of red because we have changed the base color value from red to green from our c -sharp code so right now this material is using the hdrp lit shader how do you think we are going to change the material property values when we are not using lit shader but let's say when we are using the layered lit shader now layered lit shader is different from a normal lit shader over here there are multiple materials stacked on top of each other and the primary use for a layered lit shader or you know layered material is when we let's say have to implement some kind of foliage on the surface or when we want to apply you know overlapping textures on let's say a character for example if you want to show a tattoo on the character's skin then in that situation this layered lit shader is very useful first thing that i will do is i'm just going to um, set the base colors for the main layer and layer one so i'm going to set the color red for base layer but you can see that the red color is still not showing on the cube because there is another layer on top of it so i'm going to 
um, set the color blue for this layer now you can see that the color has been changed now in this c-sharp code i will try to change the base color for layer one and let's see how that can be done we have to fetch the reference of the material in the same way like we were doing for the lid shader but over here we have to use a different name actually the name is going to be the same for the base color but we have to use indexing with it and each index is going to be specific for the layer for which we want to make the change so for the main layer the main layer is the first layer so its index is going to be zero layer one is going to be on top of main layer it is the second layer so its index is going to be one so i'm going to use one over here to change the base color of layer one from blue to green after running the scene you can see that the base color of layer two has been changed and i will show you that let's just open up this material which is applied to the cube and you can see that the main layer still have color red as base color but the base color of layer one has been changed sometimes for the layered materials the change to the property will not be applied this can sometimes happen when we are changing the values of the properties which are pointing to a texture or a map and not the base color so in those situations what we can do is first for the property which we want to change first we can call the enable keyword method and then over here we can provide the name of the property after we have called the enable keyword method for any property which was not being set earlier we can just normally call the method set texture for the property like for example for normal map we can do that and then we can provide the reference of any texture which we don't have right now but you get the idea right and that is all this short video has to offer have any questions feel free to use the comments area or join our discord server for more support if you like this video then please place a like on it and also subscribe to this channel for more such videos i am nitej and i will see you next time till then stay safe and have fun